Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to look at how we can answer this question. The question says the figure below shows a logo from a locksmith company. Draw the logo full size, clearly showing all constructions where necessary. A B C, which is this A B C is a semi-ellipse. So this one is a semi-ellipse. So let's see how we can answer this one. So we're going to start with this center line and this one and see how we will proceed from there. So, what point? Okay, so let's start with this one. Okay, so the center line there. Okay, and then along this center line, we can measure uh, 50 going this side as well as 50 going this side. So from here, 50 and 50, so that we have these two lines here. So you get your divider or your compass. Okay, so 50, and then from here, we make a point this side, or 50. And from here, you can make a point uh, this side to give you another 50 there. And then we'll draw two lines. Like this. Okay, so the next step is we're going to measure 50 going up and 50 going down. Yes. Okay. So again, from here, you can have a 50 and a 50 there. So we have that and that. So from this point, draw a line fence line and also from this point we draw another fence line 50 there okay the next one is we have this 22 where this center is along this same line we have 22 so we can measure 22 from this point or from this point so you get your Divider so open to twenty two and make a point there again from here you draw another horizontal line. Okay, and then from this center we can draw two semicircles which are 30 and 40 millimeters radius. So you get your compass, you open it to 30, thirty millimeters. Again, from the same center, you draw another one that is 40 millimeters 
radius so we have the first one and now the second one okay and then we can draw lines these vertical lines from each point where the semicircle is meeting with the center line so from here just draw lines Okay. okay so now here we can measure we can draw this so we measure the distance of 15 which is 15 from this point coming down to this line so from here we can measure 15 and another 15 so 15 and another 15 there so you get your divider so you measure from here mark 15 and also another 15 and then again you measure 20 20 millimeters from this point to that point or maybe just 10 because we have uh, we have 20 here but we have a 10 going up there so we can measure 10 10 so that from here so 15 15 and then from this point we have a 10 and another 10 along this center line there okay so here we can draw a line Can draw a line a faint line from this point going this side you can draw another one going this side is okay, so we can draw another line here a faint one and another extension of this one but it should be bent like that okay and then now from here we can measure this 90 going this side so you get your divider there and then you measure 90 okay so from here we have Our 90, which is at this point. So you draw, you draw a line from this point to that point. So this one can be dark, so which is this line here. And then you go inside by 15. So you measure nine, uh, 15 again from the 90 there, 15, so 15 is here, 15, and from this point, you draw a line, Okay, which is this one here. So you measure 10, 10, 10. So from this point again, you have 10. You can measure from anywhere. 10, 10, and another 10 there. 
So we have one, two, three. So here we draw lines from here. It has to come from the bottom here. It has to come from the bottom line up to next one. Even here, from the bottom one up to that one, and then here it has to come from there to the last one there. Okay, and then we can outline this part and also that part. We can also outline the mid part here. And also, we can outline this one. And this part okay the next step is for us to draw the ellipse from this center so we have this center we can draw this ellipse which has got a major diameter of 120 and the minor diameter the minor radius of 50 so here you draw two we are going to use concentric circle method so we'll go we'll draw two concentric circles so you get the compass one should have a radius of 50 which is a smaller circle, so you get your compass you open to 50. Okay, so we'll draw a semicircle. Okay, so 50. And then the other one, a radius of um, 60. So you open to 60. Okay, so you draw okay, so here. You divide the circle into a number of equal parts. So we have that one. This one. Let's try an arc. Okay, so let's try another arc there. Then it's just a matter of connecting the points to the center of the circle. So we have that. We have that. That one. And that one there. Okay. So at each point on the on the smaller circle, at each point on the smaller circle, we'll be drawing lines that are parallel to the uh, uh, horizontal axis. And we can use this one. So at each point, this one and this one, we draw. Lines that are parallel to the horizontal axis going towards the outside circle. So at this point, we draw more lines like that. And then 
At each point on the bigger circle, we'll be drawing lines that are parallel to the vertical axis. Okay, so. This point, we have that. At this point, we have that. That point, and also that point. So now, the path of the ellipse we will pass through Okay, so our path <coughs> should pass through this profile. But before we draw the actual path, we have to drop these lines now. We have this one, but it has to end here. And also this one that has to end at those points so that when we draw the profile, it should only start from here going this side. Okay, so that is our profile. So we can outline this this part here. Okay, we can outline this part, and then this one here is just we have a turn this side. So from the center five five, so you just get your compass, open your, your divider, open it to five. So we're gonna we are going to make a point there and another point there. So we have these two points. Okay, and then this has got a radius of 10 because it's diameter 20 here. So you can get your compass, open it to 10. Ten. That center you draw and then you draw lines. There is this height which is 30, so you just draw lines from from this point, that they should start from here, coming down, and another one there, coming down, and then you measure 30. Thirty along this line. So 30, okay, so let's outline this,
and this line and this line here so there you have it that is our that is our company logo thank you so much for watching so if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already